reciprocal core activation. You're going to hug your knee in, flex your ankle, knee, hip, lift your pelvis slightly off the ground. Take the opposite arm, set it down. You're going to take your hand with open fingers, press your knee up and away. Hold for 10 seconds. I'm trying to bring my left knee up against my hand as I press my leg and left arm into the floor. Repeat on the other side. Then on your hands and knees, you're going to extend leg and opposite arm. Hold 10 seconds and then you can do 10 reps. Think about getting long with that leg. Then on your side, this is called basking seal. Your hips are flexed to about 90 degrees, hand could be on your head. You're side bending up. That's shortening the top side, lengthening the bottom side. This gets your pelvis moving in a reciprocal motion to your shoulder blade. Do the other side and then come around this way. This is standing reciprocal core activation. You lean against the wall. You're going to bring one knee up as high as you can. You're flexing your ankle, knee, and hip. With the opposite arm, you're bringing it forward against the wall. The right leg and left, the right arm and left leg are straight. Think about raising your right knee up as you press your left knee straight. That should activate your left glute and right hip flexor. You could eventually progress to doing it in standing, which is a lot more challenging. Right leg straight, left leg's flexed. I take my hand with open fingers and press my knee down and away. Good, 10 seconds of each of those right before a run would be optimal. Thanks.